One question that people commonly ask me is, well, Bart Coppens, do you have any other pets than butterflies or moths? The answer is yes. I have this cute little chicken here. This guy is called Falco. And he, or she, is a species of parrot. A Senegal parrot to be precise. Poicephalus senegalus is the scientific name. I'm saying he or she because I never had my parrot DNA tested to know whether he or she is a boy or a girl. For some reason, I like to think of him as a male, but I have nothing to back this up. Except that I just have a feeling that his behavior is that more that aligns with a male parrot. Despite that, the difference is pretty difficult to tell in this species, so I can never be 100% sure. So, parrots as pets are pretty fun, but very demanding animals. You have to gain their trust, and unlike a dog or a cat, there is usually no guarantee that they will actually appreciate their owner. You have to make a bond with them. As you can see, this parrot, it trusts me very much. I can do it with it whatever I want. I can flip it on its back, which for a bird is a pretty vulnerable position, as you can see. But it trusts me enough not to freak out or bite me. Although it still prefers to sit upright, I guess. It really loves being cuddled and touched. You should be very sparse with cuddling or petting your bird. Believe it or not, it can arouse them sexually. That's not a joke. You have to avoid letting them think of you as a partner. Because that can make them jealous and possessive. But for the purpose of making this video, I think it's okay to give some cuddles today, right? Huh, little sweetie? Now, my parrot can actually talk, but it appears he is a little bit camera shy. For some reason, he hardly ever talks if I'm filming him, because probably the camera intimidates him. Huh? Yes, there you cutie. As you can see, he is very comfortable in my hands. He's very attached to me. He's a little bit scared of the camera because it's this big looming object above him. Hey, you nice, yeah? Take a look, these are your fans. You're a famous bird now, see? Yes, sweetie. Yes, sweetie. You like being rubbed, huh? Yes. So. This species has a more or less iridescent green back. But if you take a look at his wings, for example, yes, you're a scientific specimen now. They have some beautiful yellow. As you can see, my parrot is even comfortable with me touching his wings. This is very rare. This requires a massive level of trust. So if you own a parrot, it's very important to Never punish them, yell at them, or be angry at them. Parrots can misbehave, they can scream, they can bite. Even the best behaved parrots in the world can do this from time to time. And when they do, you have to use positive reinforcement. Birds do not respond very well to being punished. So they don't have the capacity to understand. They are not like a dog. Usually they don't, they live with a partner and uh, they bond for life with their mate. They're usually monogamous, I believe. I'm not a bird specialist, so please correct me if I'm wrong. But parrots really don't really have a social hierarchy like dogs do, for example, which do respond to punishment. Birds really don't understand the punishment as a concept. It will just make them hate you. It's very important not to Break your bird's trust. Hey, you have a loose feather, boy. And here too. Let's get some fluff of you, yes. Mm -hmm. 
Generally speaking, my parrot Falco is a very well-behaved parrot. He is very kind. I, he allows me to kiss him, for example. See? Yeah, how cute. He does have a screaming issue, however, especially if I am at work, if I am gone from home. He can scream for hours on end. Maybe you can even see it in the background of my videos. I mean, you can hear it sometimes. It's like this very piercing shrieking. It's a little bit annoying. I don't know why he does that, probably for attention. Then again, if you ever plan to get a parrot as a pet, be mentally prepared for screaming. Some lucky owners, they have a bird who doesn't scream and is well behaved. But I can guarantee you those kinds of birds are generally in the minority. Majority of parrots like to scream and there's not much you can always do about it. Because they, like I said, these are completely wild animals. What he is doing now, he is raising his wings and doing this weird dance. This is in fact a mating behavior. I guess my parrot sees me as his partner. Which is awkward because I have to friend zone him if he does that. Like I said, one behavior you do not want to encourage if you have a parrot is to encourage them to think of you as a partner. Now in this video I was touching my bird on his back and his feet, but usually I only pat him at the head, because touching his body too much will give him the signal that I am his mate. Which is cute, but not what you want to encourage all the time, because like I said, a bird who thinks of you as a partner, yes! Did you hear that? They can uh, become jealous, they can become possessive. Yes! See, he's making sounds. He can actually talk, he can say words, but I rarely get him to do it in front of the camera. It's almost as if he is aware of the fact he is being filmed. Yeah! <laughs> he can even see, say goodbye, or the Dutch equivalent, which is doei, it means goodbye. When I put on my coat, for example, he knows I'll be going away, and he already says goodbye. So hey, cool down, you're getting too horny. Yeah, this is um, like partnership behavior. This is not to be encouraged too much. When this, he does this, usually I try to ignore it and then not encourage it with a reward. But right now he's on camera, so it's hard to put him away. This is where he can get hormonal and sometimes even a bit aggressive and bitey. So uh, it's really just about understanding the natural behaviors of birds. One thing people don't know is that I have a huge appreciation for birds. I really do. Here, go sit in your bird nest, friend. Oh, he wants to be on my hand. Come on. Get off. Go, go sit here on my head, okay? I do actually have a huge appreciation for birds. It's not something you see on my channel, because um, I consider myself to be more of a specialist in insects. And uh, I'm not really that much of a connoisseur when it comes to birds. If you showed me a random songbird outdoors, there's a good chance I have no clue what species it is. So, uh, I like to see them, I like to observe them from time to time. And um, that's it, it's a very superficial interest. I, if, if I had to choose any favorites, I do like parrots and their relatives a lot. Like parakeets, but also corvids, stuff like that. Yes. You're on top of the world now. So why don't I show him on YouTube that often? I don't know, really. Maybe I should do it more often, huh? My parrot is not clipped. He is fully capable of flying. Um, that's a personal choice I've made. He can fly across the living room to sit on my shoulder, for example. Some owners choose to clip their birds. Yes, but I think it's good for their confidence if a bird is able to fly. Second of all, birds who are clipped, they can harm themselves sometimes. 
For example, if they, they fall from a, from a high place to a low place, then they can use their wings to a. They can use their wings to reduce the falling damage. Hey, dude, what's happening? Why are you talking this much? You are ruining my vlog, bro. Hey, Falco. Falco, hello. Are you silent? Good, good, good. Now, being able to fly is a bit of a risk. Why is that? That's because uh, flying birds can also injure themselves. For example, they can fly against glass or a window. They, can, they have a higher risk of escaping. I always make sure that all the windows and doors are closed. If my parrot is out of his cage, then again, it's always a risk. He could escape. Uh, I hope it never happens. Because I love this little dude, but you never know. I really don't, I have to say, I don't really like the concept of clipping a bird. Like, this is an animal with wings. And if you don't like an animal that flies, don't get one that has wings, right? It's a bit simplistic argument, but it's one that I think is true. Like, I read a lot of butterflies and moths, and if you don't... If you don't like the fact that they have six legs or rings, then, you know, it's probably the wrong pet for you, no? So, uh, yes, cutie, I'm just showing you off on YouTube, eh? You sweetie. Oh, God. His nails are a bit sharp right now in my scalp. So, uh, parrots, they actually have quite sharp nails. They can use their legs pretty well to climb and grab objects. Like toys, for example. Mm -hmm. Come here, sit on my head. I think that it's even possible for them sometimes to hang almost completely upside down. Which he obviously doesn't want to do right now. But maybe if I do it like this. Hey. Hey. Let's see if he's confident with that. Oh yeah, he can't, he can't hang upside down. I've seen him do it sometimes. But, uh, there you go. Do you want a parrot sandwich? Yes. I'm putting you for sale, Falco. So uh, let's make parrot soup tomorrow. Oh, I bet, I bet you'll taste great, huh? Maybe we should add some garlic sauce. I bet there's not a lot of meat here between those uh, bones of you. Yes. Do you want to do something silly? Look, you're famous now, bro. So for my work, sometimes I have to work abroad, like the time I worked in Cambodia. When I do that, it kind of sucks that I have to leave him behind, although I'm rarely away for more than a couple of months, I guess. So he doesn't like it when I'm gone, though. He's mostly bonded to me. He tolerates my parents, but I don't think he will allow them to touch him like I am doing right now. Hmm? Yes. So this was just a cute little parrot video. If you, do you guys like it? If you guys like it, I'm willing to show him more on my channel. I guess it's another cool pet I could show off. It's not a butterfly or moth. But just to, to answer your guys' question that you guys ask me a lot, do you have any other pets? The answer is yes. Yes, I do. Bye bye.